I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk, I assure you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan, RG Tech, Blue Devil, whatever have you. Classified Demon is done. Quick shout out first and foremost to all my sponsors. I couldn't have done this without you guys. So those guys are Cooler Master, EVGA, Vision Tech, Samsung, Swift Tech, Cable Mod, and last but not least, AMD. Thank you, gents. I appreciate it. Couldn't have done this without you guys. So let's take a little run through of Classified Demon case I'm using is the Cooler Master Master Case Pro 5 that I painted a Italian olive from Krylon. Love this finish. It's more of a drab finish. I was looking for something that was more of the Space Marine, Marine Army tone in, in a sense. So, uh, love that finish. Worked out really well. In the front, I did a custom stencil. So, if you follow me on my Instagram or my, my Twitter account, you actually can see where I cut that out of, of stencil itself. So um, that was an interesting little project. First time I ever did, ever did stenciling, but I think it came out pretty nice. It's just primer right there. And I think I was a, I, I got coloring where I wanted it to be. So um, inside of the case, as well as on the radiators themselves, this is actually Rust-Oleum aged iron. So it actually got like more of a uh, sandpaper, sand grit feel to it almost reminiscent of what you would see on like steps of a military vehicle. Uh, I wanted something more gritty and, and more hardened, something that, that resembled a, a marine or someone who was in the military like I was. I've seen a lot of this stuff, I knew I know how it feels, so um, it, it really brought back some nostalgia for me. So I love this finish and I'll probably be using it in the future somehow, some way, shape or form, make a couple different colors of it, so. Um, but yeah, Mastercase Pro 5, can't talk enough good about this case. Love it. Um, I look forward to possibly building in the Maker 5, maybe the Maker 3, or the Master Case 3, or the 7. Love this lineup of cases. When I saw it a year ago, I fell in love and I had to build into it. So thank you Cooler Master for sending that out. Uh, next up is going to be EVGA. EVGA was kind enough to provide the Z170 classified motherboard and the EVGA 850G2 power supply. Beautiful combo, love them both. Uh, the classified is, in its own right, a motherboard in another class. You do not get the power phases and the overclock ability with dual eight pin. Yes, I said dual eight pin CPU plugins. Um, you also underneath here, which I didn't use, you get an additional six pin plugin for overclocking your your video cards, providing extra. GPU wattage straight from the power supply. I can't speak ill will of this motherboard at all. Comes with a PLX controller, so if you were to run more than two or three video cards that you wanted to run at 16X, you can. This motherboard is set up. It was a little interesting. I originally had this set up in the first and second slot, which in all honesty, if I'm gonna run a two card configuration was wrong. First card defaulted actually at 8X and then 16X, which was really interesting didn't really make a difference in the benchmarks, but it was for me, it was more of a more of a preference kind of thing. I needed to have it 
16x, 16x, which is the way it's configured now. In all honesty, I like it. It opened up a little bit more. Anyway, uh, in terms of video cards, it's running two AMD Fury Xs, clocked at 1150 by 550 for the memory. Uh, beasts, beasts of GPUs. I just wish they had a little bit more VRAM, but Robert Revenant is right here. You've seen him a few times in a couple of the B-roll. You're going to see a few more times before I do an outro, but in terms of storage, Samsung sent me over a 950 Pro M.2 NVMe SSD, 512 gig. So that's my primary boot drive. Vision Tech sent me over a 240 gig Go drive, and I actually had a 500 gig 850 Evo lying around already that wasn't using. So that one in the build, all storage is SSD based. Nothing rated, I don't need it. The 950 is perfectly fine at the speed that it's at right now. It easily creates a bottleneck for the rest of the system. So I'm not too concerned about SSD storage. Um, moving over to memory, just plain Jane DDR4 Crucial Ballistics 2400 speed. I bumped it up to the next XMP profile, so a 2667. Nothing else special, didn't touch anything else, don't prefer to touch the timings. I never really gained anything out of that. So, Cable Mod uh, provided the LED lighting, so two strips of them. So one's underneath here in the basement, one's on top obviously. Uh, and then they also provided the uh, the Blood Red Cable Mod cable set for the EVG 850G2. So which will actually work with the G2, T2, and P2 series of theirs as well too. So if I ever upgrade, might be getting an upgrade and might be keeping the cable set. So good for that. And what really makes the system is the water cooling. Uh, Swift Tech came through in a major way, providing the MCR 120, the H240 X2 Prestige, and the MCR, and the MCR 360 Dash Res Dash QP. So Dash Res is the reservoir version, which actually, quite honestly, I was actually excited about getting because it actually has a fitting on the very bottom so that I could actually drain the system. So all you do is flip it on its back, attach a hose with, uh, with a compression fitting, put it back on its feet, and in a way it goes into a bucket. So, awesome, love it. Um, in terms of the rest of the cooling, left the original Prestige or noise blocker fans that were included with Prestige unit. They're very good fans, I felt almost criminal not using them. But on the rest of the fans, I actually used uh, Cooling Masters FP Silencio fans, not the performance editions, but just the FP ones. They provide beacon static pressure. I might be replacing them out with performance edition because they actually do provide quite the static pressure. Um, I might be able to get that coveted five gigahertz if I get a little bit more additional fan cooling. So three more additionally in the front. Oh, other custom mods that I did was a custom painted back plates for the Fury X's. This one is just the OD, same OD green, which I roughed up and then I um, splattered blood red all over it. So. That's a cool little mod that I did. I also painted the other one. Didn't splatter the blood because if you were to splatter blood on the GPUs, it just kind of would go on the first one, obviously. So in terms of the water cooling, I hand bent every PEPG tube there. So the hardest bend was this one coming from the MCR 120 to the top of the first GPU. Quite honestly, it was dual 90s. It was interesting to say the least. I probably bent that one 10 times. Um, the big one actually only bent like three times, and but they all they all worked. I just wasn't very satisfied with the way it was so far away from the reservoir. I wanted a little bit closer, but not too close. So this is as close as I got it without having to rebend it two or three more times. The one coincidentally that you don't really see is the one behind the MCR one or is behind the MCR three twenty that actually goes around. So that's the one I posted on Twitter that is quite interesting. That one actually only took me two tries to make. The whole system runs pretty cool. 22C is where it, where it pretty much stays. And then the GPU is around like 30, 32, 33. And there's a couple degree fluctuation. They're, they're nice and cool. They never exceed 65C on full load. So phenomenal, phenomenal rig here. I love it. I'm gonna try and tweak some more horsepower out of it. You'll be seeing some benchmarking videos coming out of it. Oh, sound off in the comments below. On what monitor do you want me to see you drive with this thing? But toying around with an ultra wide, I kind of thought maybe doing three Nexius 144 hertz, but personally, I think one is simpler, one is more elegant, and that's all I really, really want to drive with it. I've never been a, a, a multi monitor guy, 
Uh, I think they're a little. I don't know. I, I just I just don't really understand the whole need to have multi monitors when you have just one big monitor. All right, guys, you know what to do. Give this video a like, a dislike. Please subscribe. If you want to see more future content, follow me on Twitter at rgtech1 or follow me on overclock.net. I'm pretty active over there. Catch you guys on the flippity flop. Out. Oh.